Today we're gonna talk about 17 of the best plugins and scripts for modeling that you can use to save time and take your modeling to the next level. Some of these tools are used for quick and simple tasks and others are really going to change the way you model in Maya. We are going to start the countdown with number 17, Quick Pipe. Quick Pipe is a curved edge based path creation tool for Maya. With its selection based formula, Quick Pipe lets you create simple shapes like tubes, pipes, and more complex meshes like tunnels, caves, floaters, floating bevels, welding, and many more. This tool comes with the basic shapes that you can choose from to help you define the look of the pipes. Quick Pipe seems to have a limited practical usage, but I think if you are creative enough, you will use it to speed up the modeling process and do cool stuff with it. Number 16, Super Bricks. With Super Bricks tool, you can procedurally create complex and organic looking brick walls within a matter of seconds or minutes, depending on the final result you want to end up with. Even though the practical use of this tool can be limited, I would say it can be a nice time and energy saver when it comes to creating bricks. Just define your custom base wall shapes using Nerves Mesh, and you can use lots of parameters to have high degree of control over the look and design of your wall. Number 15, Cable. Cable is a script for Maya that will help you to easily create and edit cables. It's also really quick and you can generate tons of cables in a short period of time. This script can be really effective time and energy wise when you are working on a scene that requires tons of cables like building electricity cables. Streets also can have tons of cables and you can also use this tool for any creative project that requires this type of geometry creation. Number 14, KOTOR. This is a simple script that eases the close retopology workflow. It will take care of all redundant tasks that you can encounter when you are trying to have a nice and clean mesh from a scanned garment or from Marvelous Designer. Florian, the creator of this script, had a brief beta version for the tool set, but now the tool is available for all and for free. Florian created an introduction to the script that shows everything from installation and how tools work and what to look out for when doing retopology for clothes and for characters. Number 13, Voronoi Mesh Generator. Voronoi Mesh Generator is a Voronoi tool for creating intricate organic patterns, which is available for Maya. It is a script that lets you create Voronoi meshes from any object. Generally speaking, Voronoi patterns are great bases for shattering, cracking effects, or just abstract organic looking shapes. The script offers a simple panel that allows you to control cell density and smoothness. The results are a seamless polygon mesh. It also allows artists to create Voronoi meshes based on any arbitrary mesh shape as input. Number 12, Bricket. Bricket will allow you to build quickly and easily logo models in Maya using procedural methods. You can create any type of mesh, whether it be a character, a vehicle, or a spaceship. Bricket comes with ready-to-use pieces that will be the building blocks for the models you will work on. From the first look at it, it does not seem like it can do much, but when you start looking at what artists can do with this tool, you will be amazed. I think that this tool for Maya is fun to use. It also allows you to be creative in a different way. Number 11, Easy Terrain. With Easy Terrain, you can make landscapes in a short period of time with Autodesk Maya. It comes with a real-world height map, which means if you want to make a landscape of a particular country, you can use the real-world data and make exactly the same terrain that you see in the real world. Currently, it is limited to some areas, but the developers are planning to cover as much of the earth as possible. In easy terrain, you can use any shape, whether it's a simple sphere or a person or maybe an island. This means you can get creative and use this tool for other purposes than the purpose it was originally intended for. Easy terrain texturing is a simple and easy way to texture the landscapes you generated. And you don't need to be an expert to make the terrain look beautiful. Number 10, Ornatrix. It is an artist-friendly grooming tool for non-destructive hair pipeline. This tool is used by a lot of studios to work on a lot of popular shows and video games. Ornatrix can be used to grow any type of object besides hair or fur. Also, it allows you to quickly change parameters such as strength twisting. You can even turn the mesh back into guides if you like. Number 9, K-Tools. 
K-Tools is bullying toolkit and collection of scripts intended to improve current Boolean workflow in Maya. The toolset will allow you to more easily and directly in the viewport manipulate objects after you make Boolean operation and move, rotate, or scale, then edit on components level and even use modeling tools like bevel, multicut, extrude, and so on, while at the same time still keeping Boolean operation active. KTools has also a lot of other tools that will most likely save you time, like selecting hard edges only, then apply bevel to them and dissolve edges to help you clean the mesh. Number 8. Qualoth. Qualoth is a Maya plugin that takes polygon mesh as input. Then those input meshes are triangulated internally for dynamic cloth simulation. Qualoth is being widely used for production of 3D feature animations and visual effects for digital doubles in movies. Some famous feature animations from world top class animation studios are using Qualoth for cloth simulation. Though it is not aimed for real-time applications like video games, Qualoth has been used for numerous game cinematics. Number 7. Maya Structures This is a Maya plugin for creating procedural buildings and generating cities in a very short period of time using Maya. You can use ready-to-use building blocks or any other custom model you prefer for the project at hand. Structures is a Python script for generating procedural structures, buildings, machines, or any other thing in Maya. It works in Maya 2013 and up, and it is not compatible with Maya LT. Also, some of the meshes that come with the demo version are provided with textures. Number 6, Modit. Modit will support and speed up your hard surface workflow with the automation of simple and repetitive tasks like primitive creation, duplicate merge, and so on. This modeling tool for Maya is going to save you a lot of time with the different ways it can shortcut the modeling process. For instance, you can use it to add small and repetitive pieces such as screws, nuts, bolts, or any other type of geometry that needs to be inserted with the mesh you originally created. You can also create splines or paths you create to be followed by a repetitive pattern of small pieces of geometries such as a necklace, a chain, or anything like that. Number 5. Speedcut. Speedcut is a modeling tool set for speeding up Boolean operation in Maya. Some of its features are non-destructive workflow, easy to readjust shape, easy to bake cutter and restore. Speedcut is similar to the other modeling tools on this list because it allows you to create complex hard surface models like mechanical machines, robots, weapons, or any other complex and highly detailed complex hard surface geometry. Number 4. Plugit. Plugit is a script for Maya that will help you to detail your hard surface models. In few clicks, you can add pre built plugs into your mesh. You can also have control of the scale, rotation, connection, and so on. It works both on flat and curvature shapes. I think tools like Plugit are some of the best modeling tools, especially for hard surface artists who create complex robots, spaceships, weapons, and so on, because this type of work involves creating so many small pieces and Plugit can be really handy. From the first look at it, you can realize that this tool does in three minutes what you will probably need three hours to do or to accomplish effectively. And I personally think that this is where the future of modeling is headed. Number 3. Quad Remesher Exercise Quad Remesher is an automatic remeshing tool available for Maya. From what we can see, Quad Remesher is very good at changing the typology of any type of mesh, whether it be a simple 3D text or a complex model that has millions of polygons. With specific workflows, retopology becomes extremely important, yet it is pretty time consuming. When you are dealing with a lot of objects in the scene, there are some retopology tools out there that help the process, and Quad Remesher is one of those retopology tools that will make the process easier and faster. The tool processes the source meshes composed of triangles or a mixture of polygon types and convert them to evenly spaced quads suitable for animation. Quadrimesh automatically converts source geometry into clean all quad meshes with a user-friendly target polygon count. Also, the tool can be set to generate evenly sized quads or set quad size to vary with the surface curvature. You can control quad size manually by painting vertex colors as well. Number 2. ADN Modeler 
ADN Modeler Tools is a smart modeling script for Maya that comes with multiple useful tools, ranging from simple scripts to highly complex tools that completely redefine your workflow. ADN Modeler can help you speed up the modeling process in Maya by saving you time when it comes to the modeling tasks that are less fun and more tedious. When you use ADN modeling tools, things become way easier and much more fun. I think 3D software are simply not yet equipped with the necessary tools that will make the complex hard surface modeling process, and this is when tools such as ADN tools come to place. You can use the Boolean and Chamfer to pretty much do everything needed for the complex hard surface tasks. Number 1. Hard Mesh Hard mesh is ideal for hard surface modeling. Its primary use is to create complex objects starting from simple shapes. But it can also be used to add details to any hard surface model. With hard mesh you can blend together any kind of mesh and by just concentrating on the creative process of modeling. Any kind of modeling operation can also be done with the input meshes from moving vertices to splitting or deleting faces. Also, there is a rich set of operations that gives you freedom to blend your meshes in many ways. You can always switch among the operations from a union operation to a new panel operation. I hope you found this list of Maya modeling plugins useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.